Hey guys, this is Issues with Toddy One Skip. I am Toddy One Skip. Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for allowing me to be part of your day again. Guys, I'm going to go live tonight at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So that's in about four hours. Um, so, and I need to go take a nap too. Guys, I started working on a video last night. And I got to tell you, when I went to go check some stuff out today, the whole network's gone. So it was actually something that was done on the Good Wives Network that was about Gypsy, which I thought was really interesting. However, it was brought to my attention. Remember, I had said that there was a, I had some videos sent to me. So it was from another network that Ryan from the Good Wives Network, along with Fancy, Fancy and Ryan, they had some sort of falling out. It seemed like, I don't know where they're at today, but they had some sort of falling out. And so Ryan started working with Christy, it looked like, and I even did a video about that and the information that she had. And anyway, so she had a network called Exposing the Good Wives Network, but this video was on the Good Wives, Exposing the Good Wives Network, and it was from the Good Wives Network, and it just had some really valuable information that isn't widely known, and I think it deserves to be told, and it also shows how there is facts with the Good Wives Network and how Ryan and Fancy used to work together pretty well, you know. Uh, yeah, they butted heads. I think that, you know, uh, and I don't mean any disrespect by this, but I think Ryan kind of helped keep Fancy on point, and that's not a bad thing. I, I know that, and I've said this, that, and, and, and Fancy, I think, has said this, that she is so, she's been through every set of emotions when it comes to the way she was treated about this case, the case itself, uh, the way she feels that she was manipulated and lied to. And her objectivity is questionable right now. I'm not saying she doesn't have facts. I completely think she has facts. But when she looks at them, even though she could see that she's correct, there's emotion that gets involved in that. And that emotion is because of the way she feels she's been toyed with. So I want to bring up, there's four things that come out in this. One is about how Nick, how they're talking about uh, Fancy and Nick both seem to be on the same page about Nick going for his appeal and how they hope that he makes and gets his appeal. So let's, let's listen to that for a second. Let's listen to that. Actual piece right here. This piece on five of 25 matters and it's it, it, it sinks the whole thing we're ever going to talk about it's why we need to go to the supreme court to tell you the truth this is the whole thing it rests right here god i feel sorry for the guy yes he is weird he is odd but you know what she double crossed him dude and then she threw him right the fuck under the bus and then the justice system just backed him and rolled over him don't you think ryan yes okay so the second point here that they're making is Ryan says, what happened with Aaliyah? Aaliyah and Gypsy were once upon a time friends. But once again, because she's not somebody that Gypsy can longer use, she's no longer of any importance and she titles her a bully. And this is what Ryan proves in two different interviews. One, the interrogation interview and one, the Dr. Phil interview. So you can see the difference there. Same person showing exactly who Gypsy is. Somebody who doesn't seem to have substance and doesn't seem to have any type of loyalty in any way, shape, or form. None. To anybody. To anybody. Dr. Phil, season 16, episode 51. 19 minutes in. I want you to hear this. Figure this out. I started having an inkling when I turned 19 mm -hmm. and I had made a friend, Aaliyah. She was our next door neighbor 
And I started wondering, why can't I be like Aaliyah? Why can't I have friends? Why can't I go to the mall with friends? Why can't I go outside and meet people? Because I would look at her life and her life was so different from mine. So it made me question my life. Did you ever tell her secretly to the side, I'm in this wheelchair, but I can walk? I wanted to, I really did, because I looked at her like a, a sister, um, a but sister. I just didn't trust her that much. A sister? I thought she maybe she tell my mom. She met her friend Aaliyah, who was like a sister. Now, can we go to the inter interrogation video at an hour and 40 minutes in? Please do. Aaliyah, her big sister and friend. While I look for this little article, you well, guys. Well, here's the interrogation video at an hour and 40 minutes in before Dr. Phil. Do you see that that's what your friends, all your friends are wondering why? Mm -hmm. Even that friend that you're talking about, that Leah is worried about you? Aaliyah, are you kidding me? Aaliyah's always been a bully to me. Are you kidding me? So guys, can I tell you that, like, what's the truth? Is there anything that Gypsy ever says that is the truth, that is consistent, that stays the same? Is there anything? Because I just can't find it. Now, we're going to get into some emails that I'm going to share with you through the Good Wives Network, through exposing the Good Wives Network, which is no longer a network, it seems. <laughs> I, I don't know. I think that they work really well together, and I think that they have a lot of information, you know? So anyway, let's listen in. And then there's a conspiracy theory here, like a little, which... You know what? We're going to check that out, too. So hang on. In the Facebook messages, Gypsy talks about when, wanting to have a baby, baby with Nicholas. Ooh. And she wanted to name his child Nicholas Paul Go to John Jr. Now, supposedly, she had told Nick that she did become pregnant. And because of her mom, she had miscarried because of the feeding tube or because of her mom abusing her, that she had miscarried. So I don't know if that's true, if, if that was actually told. Hopefully that will come out. I'm hoping somebody asks Nick, because he seems to be telling the truth the whole way through. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, you could believe that that would have happened, and that could have been the catalyst that made this finally go the way that Gypsy wanted it to go by the unaliving of her mom. Also, the conspiracy theory. So check this out. I want you guys to, to look at this. Just look at it. And you have to admit, there is a strong resemblance. Check it out. She is um, Pink Cloud Nine. Settle the day. Bait. Which person does Gypsy Rose Blanchard look more like? Top Rad Blanchard that mar was married to Dee Dee at one time, you know, when he was 17 and she was 24. Groomer. Or bottom Dr. Beckerman from Mercy Hospital. Dr. Yeah. B. Now, go, go back a little bit because uh, Beckerman's face is in the, um, right there. No, just okay. That's Beckerman. Okay, now go over to Gypsy. With a baby in his arms. Now look, look at the nose, look at the mouth. It's not just the nose, look at the eyes, look at the mouth, okay? Now, if you're wondering why we keep talking about, now look at him, now that's the dad, supposedly. There's, there, there's the dad. That's Rod. That's old Gyps. I'm now sure so the doctor. Now I'll go back to the doctor. And this is the guy who I said every single one of freaking things is crackpot crazy. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? There's a resemblance there, right? So is it impossible? I don't know. I don't know. Might there be a DNA test involved? Well, considering <laughs> the past of this family, there might well be a DNA test that somebody might want to do here. Because if this doctor 
is involved in this. Now, supposedly, um, allegedly, Didi was madly in love with Rod, and she wanted Rod. So maybe she tricked Rod, and it just didn't last very long because on his 18th birthday, he had an epiphany and said, I can't live my life like this anymore. I want a divorce. Maybe there was always going to be some sort of uh, abuse with and fraudulent uh, medical <coughs> care. Maybe there was always going to be some sort of abuse or fraudulent medical care. I don't know. So now let's get into some emails. Let's hear some emails that came from Gypsy to Fancy. In an email from Gypsy herself, she said to me, I'm a loose cannon. You don't want to fuck me in a media war. Well, I guess I'm going to go ahead and fuck around and find out in a media war. The one, I want to show the one fucking email. I want to show that. While you are sitting here, while I am talking, find the one that I sent you. And you're like, you know, I, that's from my email. You know that I'm the I know that, bitch. I don't care about that. I want to show that one fucking portion of that email, bro, because it is important. So here's the one that says, hi, darling. Heard about the new rumor. This is funny. Ah, oh, how sweet of you to say I'm prob Playboy material, but sad to say no call from the Playboy mansion has come for me, but I'm flattered by y'all think I'm beautiful enough with my C-cup boobs, big ass, and hourglass figure hidden in prison khakis. Better luck next time at the sheep, cheap shots, hun. Sticks and stones, smiley face, kicks my big, sexy southern ass, XOX. This one says that um, in addition to many other arguments between you, you've destroyed this relationship with Christy, yada, yada. She's telling me that nobody's going to talk to me anymore. Not the Petrie family, not the father's side, not the Blanchard file family will be aiding you in your project. That one. Nope. Hold on. It's very important. And believe me when I say after we are done with you, your name, no production company will even look at you with truth and honesty, Gypsy Blanchard. There you go, guys. That's her own words. Looking for well, here's one here that says, I may be a murderer who some like, some hate. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's some are neutral, but bitch, everyone hates you internet wide, and you did that to yourself. That's not the one I'm looking for. So is it this one by any chance where she tells me you've done nothing but talk shit about us since we chose to live by proxy project? Is it that one where she gets real rude and real mean? Is it that one? No, it's something. It's something about how, um, basically, um, it, no, it, there's a very pointed sentence that I wanted to read and it's frustrating me now. Well, here's where she told me she should be cre curled up in the fetal position, eating her. Under, try under that. Try under that. <laughs> what? It's in this one. Try under that. I'm not sure. Okay. Hold on. But I like this one. She tells me she should be, she should be curled up in the feeding pos fetal position, eating her own hair, rocking back and forth, but I'm not, I'm coping with my past. Um, and this is where she basically goes on to tell me that Ken's the only thing she needs. She doesn't need anything else. And, um, that's what Dr. Phil got annihilated for calling her out on too. So it's gotta be, the, be, be this one. Oh, this is where she's mad that I, I used her dead mod mother's body. That's a good one. No, it's it's not that. That's the one I'm looking at right now. Okay. Um, copy of the of the contract. No, it's something like it's something like without her, you'd be a nobody. Oh, and no, I know. I'm trying. These are emails that went out years ago. Years ago. Is it keep my husband's name out of your mouth? You forget I'm the one the media wants the interviews with. It's my names who coattail you're writing on. I'm a loose cannon. I don't think you want to start a media war with me. You're no friend to me. I agree with everything that Nakasha Cooper said about you. Is that it? Is that it? I'll keep going. I don't agree with her about Christy as you're just a bug in her ear and she's a good, kind-hearted woman who wants the best for me and you took advantage of her kindness by misguiding her. You're a nobody trying to make a career off my tragic life. Shall I continue? Oh, it keeps going. I think you dislike Ken because he calls you on your bullshit. Oh, did I say that Ken entered the picture the other th th today? He might have, folks, and sees through you as just I do. I apologize to you for my previous outburst. You mean the death threat? Thank you. But this, I will not apologize for depending my own personal life as it's no concern of you or the media. No one needed to know about my wedding in January until when Ken and I decided to make a joint interview together after that fact. Well, let's give you some little tea on what was happening that day. Guess what, guys? Ken decided to run his mouth despite what the PR person told him to fucking do because despite what anybody thinks about me, I'm actually fucking pretty good at my goddamn job. Yes, I am. I was a PR Robot. person for them. Hold on. Robot. Hold Here's on. the problem. Yep. I want you, number one, I want you to go back to the beginning of what you just read. I want you to read yeah. it again because people yeah. did not know what was going on. I want you guys to hear something. I, I don't care if she's defending your, hold on. 
I don't care if she's defending herself, okay? That's fine. I want you to understand you are hearing exactly who she is in this. Yes. That and she's I'll give you background. I'll give you back. Riding the coattails. Everybody loves me. You're nobody. Bitch, you killed somebody. So guys, I have to agree with Ryan on that. We can end it right there. This is just the show. Who Gypsy has been, who Gypsy was, who Gypsy is, and this is why she's famous. This is who we should aspire to. This is 8 million subscribers worth viewing who that's not there anymore either because her parole officer said that's not a good idea. So I don't know what to say, but I have to say the Good Wives Network, they have a lot of information. Whether you like Fancy, whether you like Ryan, they have a lot of information I'm hoping they could work out their differences. I think that they could put together something really, really good. And yeah, I hope that they find a way back with their friendship. And I thank them for the information that they've been giving us. To be honest with you, I thank them, I thank them for the information because this is information that where would we get it? Where would we get it otherwise, those emails? They wouldn't exist if Fancy wasn't around because those emails were directed. That point of view, which yes, it's skewed because of everything that's going on. The facts are still coming out and the facts are the facts of the facts. So what do you guys think? I'll see you tonight in a few hours. This is Issues with Toddy One Skip. Please like, subscribe, and share. I so appreciate all of you guys. Comment in the comments. I comment there too. All right, guys, be better today than you were yesterday, but not half as good as you're going to be tomorrow. And uh, I'll see you soon. Thanks, guys.